Imagine that you see the wretched strangers, their babies at their backs with their poor luggage, plodding to the ports and coasts for transportation, and that you sit as kings in your desires, authority quite silenced by your brawl, and you in rough of your opinions clothed. What have you got? I'll tell you. You had taught how insolence and strong hand should prevail, how order should be quelled, and by this pattern not one of you should live an aged man, for other ruffians, as their fancies wrought with self-same hand, self-reason and self-right, would shark on you, and men like ravenous fishes feed on one another. Oh, say now, the king, as he is clement, if the offender mourn should so much come too short of your great trespass, as but to banish you. Whither would you go? What country, by the nature of your error, should give you harbour? Would you be pleased to find a nation of such barbarous temper that breaking out in hideous violence would not afford you an abode on earth? Wet their detested knives against your throats, spurn you like dogs. What would you think to be thus used? This is the stranger's case, and this your mumptonish inhumanity. <laughs>